guys, welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be sharing a first impressions on the new Youth to the People Super Clay Purify Plus Clear Power Mask. Now I did ask you guys on my community tab on my channel as well as Instagram if you wanted to see a first impressions video on this product in particular and majority of all of you said yes which made me really happy. Of course I haven't used this yet. I have opened it up to take a look but I haven't actually applied it to my skin and I can't wait to do it because the ingredients in this product are definitely impressive. So let's get right into the video, but before we do, if you could please like this video, subscribe, and ring that notification bell. By doing so, you will always be notified whenever I upload a new video, and I do upload videos every single week. All right, so let's jump right in. So with this mask in particular, of course, this is a clay mask. Now these types of masks are best suited for people who have normal, oily, combination skin, if you're blemish prone, and if you have enlarged pores. Clay masks are fabulous for these skin types and skin concerns. Now if you have dry skin or you're more on the sensitive side, then you most likely wouldn't want to pick up this product because this might be drying on your skin and this could also make your skin irritated as well and we don't want that. So normal to oily to combination skin for this product. Now I do have normal to combination skin but sometimes I can be on the drier side because I am using tretinoin and I'm using products that dry my skin out. But other than that I'm normal to combo skin. Now typically when it comes to clay masks they are not generally my favorite because I do sometimes find that these can dry my skin out and I also find that these make my skin really tight and I don't like that tight feeling. I want my skin to feel really moisturized and hydrated and have movement with my face without feeling uncomfortable because of the tightness. Some people really love that tightness but I personally don't like that. So with this mask, Youth to the People said, hey, this isn't going to make your skin tight. This is actually going to keep your skin pretty moisturized. So we are going to see if they are correct about that. Now, this mask has a lot of great ingredients, and I'm going to share what those ingredients are. And I do have my laptop here, so I'm actually going to read right from the website because I really like the way that they explain it. On the website here. This mask is supercharged with 2% niacinamide. This triple clay mask deep cleans and actively clears pores for skin that functions at its fullest potential. Boosted with exfoliating salicylic acid and balancing kombucha, this pro-grade purifying treatment targets the root of skin issues, evens the skin tone, and absorbs excess oil that can trigger breakouts without disrupting the skin's moisture barrier. So that is what this mask is going to do for your skin. It's going to help to draw out the impurities out of your pores. It's going to give you more of a clear complexion. It's also going to help with texture as this is going to gently exfoliate your skin and this will also help to minimize the appearance of pores. So I love that because I do have some pores, I can be breakout prone, I do experience hormonal breakouts from time to time as well and I do like using salicylic acid as well as niacinamide. And I've talked about niacinamide a lot on my channel. This ingredient can sometimes be very irritating for some people at higher strengths. But in this one, you're getting 2% niacinamide, so you might be able to tolerate this mask if you are somebody that tends to be sensitive with niacinamide at higher strengths. So let's talk about the key ingredients that are in here. So there are three different types of clays. The first two are volcanic plus French green clay. And these natural detoxifiers with pollution binding properties will help to draw out impurities deep within the skin surface layers that can clog pores and lead to blemishes. The other clay is white clay. And this mineral rich multitasker helps to gently exfoliate smooth and absorb excess oil without drying or sensitizing the skin. I love that. 
The other ingredient is the 2% niacinamide, which will help to tighten your pores, and this will also help to strengthen your skin barrier also. There is also BHA, which is salicylic acid, plus red willow bark, and these two ingredients will help to clear your skin and to unclog your pores. And the last key ingredient is kombucha black tea, and this friendly prebiotic will help to support and balance the skin's natural micro Biome. So this can be used one to three times a week or as needed. You leave it on for 10 minutes, you rinse it off. They also mention that you could experience skin flushing, which is redness of the skin due to the active ingredients that are in the formulation, and they said that that is quite normal. So we will see if I experience flushing while using this. Sometimes I will experience redness of the skin when I'm using certain active ingredients. So we'll see if I experience that today. So let's put this product to the test, but this is what it looks like inside. So I don't know if I mentioned this already, but Youth to the People did send me this product through PR, and this is an honest review based on my first impressions. So they are not paying me to do this video. And when they sent me the mask through PR, they also sent me their Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. And I've had a sample of this in the past, and this is lovely. So I did cleanse my skin prior to filming this video with this. I didn't even put the pump in yet. I just basically poured it right out of the bottle but this is very gentle and hydrating and this helps to balance your skin's pH and this is also non stripping so this is quite lovely and once I rinse the mask off I am going to apply the youth to the people super berry hydrate plus glow oil to add more hydration after the mask let's apply the mask now so we're gonna use this. I've never used anything like this before. It has little bristles on the one end. Usually I like to apply my masks with my hands, but since they sent me this, let's try it. So I am going to grab a little bit on the spatula side and I am going to, you know what, I'm going to place it on my face and then use the other side to distribute the product. Okay. So, I'm not sure if I'm loving the way that this is applying, but let's try it a little bit more here. I mean, it's okay if you don't want to get your hands dirty, but I feel like I'm not getting an even application with this. I don't know, what do you guys think? It's okay. There's a lot of product on the bristles that isn't transferring onto my skin, so I feel like I'm getting a lot of wasted product there. So you know what, I'm just going to see if I can scoop all of that off and use my fingers. I just can't. <laughs> I'm impatient, you guys. Yeah, the fingers are way better. So this is very smooth, very creamy. This is not gritty whatsoever. And it feels really nice. It actually feels like I'm applying a thick moisturizer on my skin. So I love that. I'm not going to put this on my neck. Usually I don't apply products like this down my neck. But I guess you could if you wanted to. All right. So that is an even application there. Make sure I get right around the nose area. And just like that. So I would leave this on for 10 minutes and then rinse it off. So right now, I don't have any sensation whatsoever. It feels a little bit cooling 
on the skin, but I think that's because it's still wet, but there's no burning, there's no tingling, nothing. So I am going to leave this on for 10 minutes. I will come back on here and show you what it looks like prior to rinsing it off and what I've experienced during the 10 minutes, and then we will continue with the video. So I will be right back. All right, so I'm back. It's been 10 full minutes, and as you can see, it's completely dry. Like there's no transfer whatsoever. My skin does not feel irritated. There's no tingling. I didn't experience any burning. No sensation whatsoever. I don't feel the cooling effect anymore. It just feels like I have something on my face and that's it. So I am going to go and rinse this off now and let's see what my skin looks like afterwards. Be right back. So this is what my skin is looking like and I'm quite impressed. I'm really impressed and I don't have anything on my skin. I didn't even put this on yet. This is just my skin rinsed off. You can see that I have a glow to my skin and I'm shocked. I really wasn't expecting that, especially from a clay mask. So that's a great thing. I also noticed that my skin isn't any more red than what my skin was prior. You guys probably saw that I had some redness before applying the mask, which is my natural redness coming through, but the mask didn't give me any more redness. I don't have skin flushing, which is great. So love that. If you ever experience skin flushing, usually this will last for about a half an hour, maybe an hour before your skin starts to settle down. That's from my experience. You may experience that it may not take as long to settle down, but if you experience a lot of redness and a lot of discomfort after using a product like this, discontinue the product. It wouldn't be a bad idea to even do a patch test prior to applying an active product like this all over your face. I didn't do that in today's video, I took a risk. So I'm going to apply the Glow Oil. So again, this is by Youth to the People, and this is the Super Berry Hydrate Plus Glow Oil. Now, I'm generally not a person that uses a lot of oils, but I thought that it would be appropriate to share this product in this video since it's from the same brand. And I recently received this from Youth to the People as well, and I've only used it twice so this will be the third time and I'm quite impressed with this as well this is very hydrating very brightening you have an amazing glow going on if you like that finish and I really like the way that this applies to the skin it's a quick absorbing product it doesn't just sit on top of your skin and make you look super greasy and oily all day long I'm not usually a fan of products like that so this really does absorb into the skin but you're still left with a glow and a moisturized feel throughout the day so love that now this is full of antioxidants there's goji berry prickly pear there's maki and the list goes on so if you're looking for a oil that gives you a glow and that is full of antioxidants then this will be the one for you so I'm going to apply five drops Okay, I guess that was six drops, didn't mean to do that. It says to apply two to five drops, but you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to press this into my skin. And there is really no fragrance to this. There is a slight scent to it, but it's very, very mild. And anytime I apply products to my skin, whether it's an oil, it's a cream, a serum, my skin does go a little bit rosy at first and then it does settle down. I do apply this under my eyes as well. And there we go, it's all pushed in and I just have this beautiful, youthful glow going on and it just looks so hydrated. It feels really moisturized as well. So I definitely had a positive first impression. I really loved that it gave me an instant glow. I like that I didn't have any skin flushing and there was no discomfort while using this. I didn't experience any tingling whatsoever. So, so far so good with this mask. I will definitely keep you guys updated as I use the mask more frequently and I will definitely let you know in an empties video once the product is finished, whether or not I would continue on with the product. So stay tuned for that. But I would love to hear your feedback. Would this be something that 
you might want to start using on yourself? Have you used it before? Let me know in the comments below. So of course, I will have all of the products that I mentioned in today's video linked below for you. So thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in my next video. So take care and I will see you guys then. Bye guys.